Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's myself, Alan here. Today we're going to have a look at effects and plugins in Cubase 13. A lot of things have moved around in Cubase 13 since Cubase 12, and people have been asking me, how do I put effects and how do I put plugins onto an audio track or a MIDI track? And I'm going to show you how to do it. I really want the best of me. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at how to put an effect onto an audio or a MIDI part in Cubase. Um, someone sent me an email and asked me how do you do it, so I'm going to explain it to you. In Cubase 13, uh, a lot of things have been moved around, but the easiest way to put an effect onto it is to go on anywhere where you see the E. There's one here, there's one up here, there's one down here. And there's also one on the mixing desk. If you click on this, on the audio part, click on the E and this window will appear. On your right hand side, you have the inserts where you can add all your effects. And on the left hand side, you have sends, uh, which you can put on. I'll show you them later on, but we'll at the moment we'll just go to the inserts. Um, I have, if I close this down, I have a guitar part here. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how to put an effect onto that guitar part. Um, if you go up here and you click on the E, this window will open up. And here you will see it has the channel strip. It also has the graphic equalizer. You can click on it and go from one to the other. If you go back to the channel strip, you can click on these. And this area here it has set up. It has a gate, which you can turn on and off here. A noise gate it also has uh, compressors which is three compressors available it has graphic equalizer it has a couple of saturations it has a de and an envelope shaper and it also has a limiter a brick wall limiter and a maximizer and these are available on um, every channel this always comes up as standard on cubase on the right hand side zone you will see we have the inserts and this is if you click on here you will have a drop down menu which will show you all the inserts that are available to you. If you click, it will close. On the left or the right hand side, you will see the sends. But it's not only here you get this, there's a couple of places in Cubase where you'll see this. If you come over here to the inspector on this side, and you'll see the inserts here appear here, and you can click on that as well. And also the sends, and they will appear any sends that you put on will appear over here as well and also if you click down here on the mixing desk you will also see the sends appear here if we go back to this the easiest way to put an effect onto um, a track is if you click down this drop down menu and click on Steinberg this is all the effects that you have comes with Cubase 13 there's uh, an awful lot of them. There's stuff like delay, graphic equalizer. There's uh, stuff for mastering, pitch control. There's uh, for vocals, there's reverb. There's loads of them, you can go through them all. I'm not really gonna show you how to use them. I'm just gonna show you how to put them on. Um, this distortion, and if you want to click on the distortion, you click on it, and there's the effect. Let's put, that's distortion there now. Let's put it onto the guitar. You can click this button here on the effect and this will bypass the effect. Turn it on and off and this will bypass it. So if I play it again.
So you can add as many effects as you want to on. I'm going to this time, I'm going to add in a frequency. With the frequency, what I use this for is a low pass filter. And I just put that on there. With the effects, you can add on as many effects as you want to, and they'll all appear on this side down here. And you can also move the effects around. So if you wanted to put the EQ below the distortion, you can do that. If you want to remove them, all you do is click on and go up to no effect, and they will be removed. You can also go up here to audio. If you click on the audio, the drop down menu appears. And if you go down to plugins and go across the drop down menu, you will see Steinberg plugins, any third party plugins that you buy and, and you install onto your computer or laptop. They'll also appear, as you can see, I have a few here. And uh, if you go to the Steinberg one, all the ones will drop down the same drop down menu and they can all be put on the same from here. The best way to put effects on your tracks in Cubase is if you put a reverb on, if you have like 10 tracks and you put a reverb on every track, it's going to use a lot of power up in your computer. So the easiest way to do it and the, probably the best way to do it is to add it as a, an effects track. And the way you can do that is by coming to this area here and right click on the mouse and go down to add effects track. And this window will appear and on this window you can pick uh, the effect you want if you click on it your drop down menu will appear and um, all your third party ones will appear as well and your steinberg i'm going to um add on a delay this time and we'll just add on a stereo delay and we'll just call it um delay one and as you can see, this is a stereo delay and it's be a stereo output and you just click on add track. And the stereo delay plugin will appear here and also here you will see that the FX channel will also appear down here. It'll appear in the FX channel folder, which you can click and open and close here. And also down here, you will see that we have the delay one and this is the output for the mixer with when you use an effects channel what you want to do is you need to turn the mix up to 100 percent on both of them so whatever effect you put on if you put on a reverb put it up to 100 percent or a delay or a distortion whatever you want on this one then we're going to add this to uh two and this one we just go to that will do okay now if i open up the track you will see now uh it doesn't appear on this side it'll appear here so what you want to do is click on the sends and the drop down menu and you will see delay one if you click on that and your delay will appear here with this delay, I have a vocal track here as well, which I'm going to click on. And if I can do the exact same thing, I can click down and I can add it onto this vocal track. And you can add it onto as many tracks as you want to. I can remove it and close it. So we go back up to this one. And um, to turn it on and off, you click this icon button here and it'll turn it on and off. And if I pay the track,
And with this, you can use as many sends as you want to, or as many effects on uh, as you want to. But it's easier to put them on as a send than it is as an insert because it'll save a lot of power on your computer. You can also add on an effects channel by coming over here and pressing on media. And this window will open up here. If you can't see it, you press on VST effects and that will open up and all your Steinberg effects will appear down here. This time we're going to open up distortion and we're going to add distortion on again. This time we're just going to click on it and drag it over here and it'll drop and you will see it'll open up again. And this will create another FX channel down here for distortion. And if you can't see it, you click on there. Same thing again, set it up to make sure it's set up to 100. We close it now. This time I have a vocal track. So high I'm lifted, it's gotta be love. This is how you got me crazy, love. Talk it out, talk it out, uh. The same thing you do, go over here to the sends and click on it and you will see the distortion. Click on it and it'll open up. When you put when you turn it on, it'll uh, it's always up really high. So you just turn it on and now you can adjust the volume of it or how much you want. If I play the track now. So high I'm lifted, it's gotta be love. This is how you got me crazy, love. Talk it out, talk it out, uh. Talk it out, talk it out, uh. Talk it out, talk it out. Here I have uh, just a symbol crash. And I can add effects to this as well. Um, before I do this though, just to make it so you can see it a bit better, I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to change the color. Also in Cubase, if you want to change the color of this, you can go down here as well and change the color to orange because it's been moved around since the last Cubase 12. Um, I can use direct offline processing. With this, I can click on this track. I go up here to audio to the drop down menu, I do direct offline processing and this window is, will appear. Up here you have plugins and you have uh, processes. If I click on this process, any of these I click on, it will happen instantly. If I click on reverse, it's just reverse the track straight away. And if I want to uh, go back, I can go up here and I can do undo and go back again. I can also go into plugins with plugins on the same and all the plugins. If you come up here, there's a, a menu here. There's uh, you can add in. I'm going to put on um, an auto pan. And there it is there. I'm going to click on that and it'll come up here. And the minute I click on it, it'll automatically go on this. So everything that I change here will automatically change just on this track. So if I close this now, and press play, you should hear the auto pan and the reverse. Well, there you go, folks. Hope you found that very helpful. That's how to use plugins and effects in Cubase 13. Um, go through all the effects. Um, some of them are absolutely fantastic. Um, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to the channel to help me grow the channel. And um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. From myself, Alan, all the best.